Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting bring to the finale. Of course, we have a motorcycle. Thank you. <laughs> the finale, or really the series finale of Descending Stories. We are finally here. I, I mean, I can say that for for one of the two Patreon shows. Um, this was a very interesting series. I'm truly sad that this is over, but it's just like, damn, I kind of wish they could have continued on, but it does make me hopeful on how this is going to end personally. Hopefully, you know, Bond does not die, but with the way, um, episode 10 ended, it's kind of looking like he's officially dead. But as I said at the end of that video, I, I won't consider him dead until we officially see a grave or something of his so but yeah we are here but other than that let's go ahead and get started with episode 11 in three two one go also yes i am drinking coffee <laughs> at like six o'clock at night Of course not. He was waiting for you. Even in the afterlife. Oh my god. But see, okay. Let me say one big thing. From what we've also heard, that when we die, we go to an age that we are most comfortable in. Yes, I get it. For, for Shin, he died young. Bond's dying old. But you think he would be young again. There we go. Well, that that's too much. <laughs> what if you wanted to be a young adult again and not a kid?
<laughs> yeah, but you definitely were starting it. Because she would think that they would both greet him. Oh. Gotcha, right in the tummy. On. Yeah, I mean, and besides, he couldn't abandon her. Not really. No. That's right. You end up missing that person way too much. Something tells me you will. <laughs> the geishas, of course. <laughs> right? I, I mean, I didn't think that would happen, but oh. Well, damn.
honestly, I think if these two really did get together and get married, I think they would have still been happy. Maybe they would have had a couple of bumps here and there, but I think they would have been better than, you know, her and Shin. I was about to say. <laughs> Oh. Huh? Oh. That's interesting. Is she nicer? Oh. It does make me wonder when she does die and she gets to see her mom in a long time. I wonder if she's still going to be angry or is she going to immediately want to hug her and be like, I'm so sorry for everything.
<laughs> that transition. Ooh. You put you down. Go lay down. This one? I'm guessing they're still sinners. Hmm. Yeah. No, honestly, I thought he would have just stayed with them. So they could just all three travel together. You did good, even with everything that came your way. And Stop, I'm gonna cry. Oh my god.
God damn it, so. Okay. Oh, God. I was not expecting that to go that way. And the fact that now even Matsura. Because, okay. Going into episode 9 and 10, and especially how 10 ended, I did not. I was like, okay. So if Bon. It, it, yeah. If Bon is dead, what about Matsura? Did Matsura die too? And, and just getting the confirmation that, yes, he even he is now gone as well. Like, oh, God. I didn't think I was going to cry at that. I, I mean, because, like, yeah, seeing Shin and Bond finally together again, even Mio at the same time, seeing the three of them, it's just like, oh, my God, happiness, but still sadness at the same time. And then I'm thinking, all right, I'm good. No tears, no nothing. And just them having that pinky promise and just how, how emotional I felt in the moment because it's just like they're going to see each other again, even though they're going to be separate one more time. Yeah. No tears, but Matsuda, because of the fact is that those two have been together ever since, and he's been there with him through the good, the bad, and everything in between. Oh, God. And I get it. It just, oh, like, because he was just always so sweet to him. Oh, my God. I cannot believe he's gone. It's just, once again, it would just like when anyone, any person we lose, they're gone, but they're never really forgotten. They're always going to be with part of us or, and with us at times. Like, it has been seven years since my friend has passed away, my, one of my high school friends. And once again, not a day goes by that I don't think about her. Um, even with the way our friendship had ended and such, I, there are days that I wish she was still here and that our friendship, the four, me and my three other friends who were also, my two other friends who were also friends with her, um, that our friendship would have, oh, I'm trying not to cry, um, been mended and that the four of us would have been together in dealing with this so-called world of life and hardship of life and such because yes I have friends that I can still go and talk to whenever but the ones that like you know your high school friends are kind of different from your childhood friends um and such even though my one childhood friend that I still keep in touch with like me and her we we soul sisters for life um but with my other friends they're like my I, I cannot believe I'm gonna say this and I kind of said this to them I was like yeah you guys are like my Sex of the City co-hosts and such. I was like, one of us is Carrie, one of us is Charlotte, one of us is Samantha. Um, and then the other one is uh, Miranda and such. And we, we've kind of done who is who now when it's just like, it's still the three of us. We are like literally the plastics from girls. So I am Regina. Um, one of my friends is Gretchen and the other one's Karen <laughs> and such. And it, it's just, we are just inseparable. And even though we, even though two of us still live in the same state and one of us does not live in the same state, we still will try to make time for each other even when we can, even when we are busy as fuck, even when I am tired as hell. It just, you know, a little high how you doing? Hope everything's all as well. Da -da -da -da. You know, it, it's just sweet. Or even when we don't even have the time to talk, we, it's not like they're not on my mind. They're always on my mind. Any of my friends are always on my mind. Heck, even with the friends that I made on YouTube, I think about any person, you know, once or twice in every day. But I'm not ready to watch this last episode. But God and pause the video. And I will see you guys in one second for the final episode. Okay. Final episode in three, two, one, go. That's supposed to be Shin. He's so pretty. <laughs> he 
he looks so much like Bond that it's not even funny. He would literally be a guy I would also date. I mean, because, like, we all know how attracted I was to, to Bond. So, duh, I would be attracted to Shinosuke as well.
Of course she ain't gonna answer that question. That is, that is none of your mother effing business. You will never know. She is taking that to her grave. Figured. <laughs> I will say one thing. Holy crap, you got that, but it's okay. <laughs> Oh my god. It's okay, you're gonna do fine! And especially because the fact is he's someone who came out from the Yakuza. He had so much against him.
seriously, they they have come a long, a long way to get here. Oh, not the candy. <laughs> Oh, that's definitely Vaughn. Mm-hmm. Of course he can.
That got me for a moment, too. The fact that once again, Matsuda is 95 years old! Oh my god! Definitely. <laughs> Shin, Shin was definitely the oil and Bond was water. Okay, final thoughts. This was underrated as fuck. This was good as fuck, too. Okay, I'm still gonna talk. But, like, okay. I, I love the fact that what it did in this final moment <laughs> when... It, they showed both people who are still living at the festival and the people who have passed. They're both still there, and we know that eventually everyone who is still living, they're also going to pass as well, and they're all going to be on the same side again. And they're all going to have this, like, wonderful reunion and such. And it's just going to be so sweet. Now, seeing the next generation of kids, 
in this very interesting seeing characters that we were who were young in the beginning a super old freaking Matsuda freaking Matsuda 95 years old bro what the hell I, I did not think he was gonna survive to 95 I was thinking nah he died with Bon in the previous episode like truly but Damn, he lived for a long freaking age. I, wow, Jesus Christ, it's amazing though to be to be able to live that long. It's truly amazing, even to some people who go into their one a hundred years old. It, it's nuts, and the fact is that they get to still live their day out every day, and they're able to do things so freaking crazy. Would love to live that long, hopefully. But even with the fact that Yuta was performing Shinigami and he also saw, of course, the one other person that he really truly wanted to see, which was Bon, just as much as Bon saw both Mio and Shin when it is his turn performing it in the previous episodes. It's just not. It's truly nuts. But this was so good. Okay, now Shinosuke. I, if they had a spinoff, on this show, just focusing on Shinosuke, I would definitely watch. This is like, comparing it to the other Rakugo show that I tried to get into, and I only lasted about a good one to two weeks with it, this was a thousand times better than that. Would I still go back to that show? Honestly, I don't, I don't know. There are some shows, and it was like that with that show, where it has like some of my favorite seiyus in it and stuff, and I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna watch it and stuff. But something about this show, it hooked me instantly rather than the other show but i think if i really wanted to i definitely would take another chance on it and just to say hey let me watch it to watch it now that i know a little bit more about rakugo in a nutshell and stuff that's the same thing with um the Saki series and how i never knew nothing about mahjong and now i feel like i know a lot more about mahjong and i'm super excited for that other mahjong series that is coming out starting sometime next year, I think in January and such. But this was really good. Yes, even though it took me a, lot, a while, and I'm going to say the same thing for when I finished Saki, um, it was definitely worth it. Yes, even with the days where I was very tired and I didn't think I was going to be able to record to the point that I was like, fuck it, I'm recording all four episodes all in one night because it is still the 19th for me. But by the time this comes out, you'll probably be, it'll probably be like the first or second week of December for you guys. I'm not sure yet. Um... But this was truly a really interesting adventure journey world one with this. To, there were highs and lows with this throughout the whole dang series. Like, I, and I would definitely rewatch this again. This does give me feels to how I felt when I watched um, March Comes in Like a Lion for the first time and such. And I haven't watched rewatched March Comes in Like a Lion in, ever since I finished it. But... I would damn sure in a heartbeat rewatch that show because that show is so phenomenal. And the same thing with this. The cinematography, the the seiyus on this was really good. Like, I felt like in this show, I didn't know any of this, the voice actors. But everybody did so fucking good in this. The, the music on certain moments, the way everything was just beautifully done and thought of was very interesting. I mean, I would d definitely, if I had to choose, I would say this would be my anime of the year. Even with all the other anime that I've watched, I think truly this deserves it because this is a really good masterpiece. Truly underrated. And I would love to see more, but I get it. It's just like, hey, we need to let this end right here. Most definitely. But this was a very good series. Like, God dang it. Like, I really kind of want to rewatch it again. But I don't want to go through that emotional impact all over again and cry and stuff. But definitely, this was really good to see the tragic story of these characters, the sad story, the happy story of these characters, just everything all above. To, because, like, I always thought, even before we found out in that first episode with Bond's daughter saying, hey, you killed my dad. And I'm sitting here thinking, hold up, girl, like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> and, you know, seeing him alive. And then in the back of my mind, I'm like, but he's going to die. So what the fuck is going to happen? And how is he going to die? And then finally getting into that episode of seeing him in you die. 
which was truly tragic. And then going, continuing with Bond and Bond only. And he seeing his story and seeing him get old and taking in their kid, even though their kid has so much hatred in the world for him because it's like, oh, it's your fault that my parents died. I should kill you and stuff. Even though they just, they didn't have the best relationship. But when there were times when Bond was getting older and older, she was the only one that really, besides uh, Yuta, she was there for him throughout everything in his life. And so I think he was very, very grateful to have her because as, you know, Shin was saying to him for Bond, it was like, you know, I, I thank you for taking care of my daughter. And, and I thank him for doing it too because he could have been very resentful and left her and abandoned her and made her homeless and stuff. But he took the initiative to bring her in and to give her a better life. Even though, in a way, in my opinion, when she was young, because she did act like her mom, she kind of did the same thing as her mom and such, which truly happens. We are our parents' children. Sometimes we end up following in the same footsteps as our parents, and sometimes we don't. But there are always that <laughs> that one moment where secretly in the back of your mind, your mom or your dad is in the back of your head saying, hey, I told you so. Told you not to do this, but I told you so. Shouldn't have done that, but I told you so. But truly, even in the end, this was still a very happy ending. I'm, I'm really satisfied with this, truly. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards the entirety of Act 1 and Act 2 two of descending stories if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day and join the master squad and of course um i will see you guys all officially next thursday for everybody else and next saturday for patreons um so mm, i can't tell you what i'm going to do next because of course i have to talk to the patreons and stuff but i probably won't be able to talk to them until after i officially finish Saki. um because there's a lot of things that have been on my mind, especially for the last 12 hours between today and Saturday. So between the 19th and the 18th. Um, but definitely, whenever they know, of course, you will know the week after everything is um, airing and such. But whatever they give me next, I honestly cannot wait to see. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.